Fulton neighbors are getting answers over an intersection they say is dangerous. This after dozens of crashes, some of them deadly. We're talking about the intersection of Highway 138 and Bethsaida Road. CBS 46 is Sierra Cummings live there tonight with what solutions the local leaders and GDOT are sharing with neighbors, Sierra. Yeah, we know things like a temporary stop light, flashing traffic signage, street lights, even putting stripes on the pavement. Those are all options right now, but unfortunately there is no concrete timeline or plans. Meanwhile, neighbors say they have been plagued for far too long by this deadly intersection. It does not take like a day to fix things. The solutions cannot wait a day more if you ask the South Fulton neighbors who showed up to Thursday's meeting. We've been singing this same song for years. Two months after two elderly residents were killed on Highway 138 and Bethsaida Road while trying to turn left, city and state leaders announced potential road improvements here. We're talking about a temporary a light right now. That's the short term, but District 63 State Representative Deborah Baysmore says long term measures include possible flashing signage, painting the pavement, street lights, and a permanent stop light. We can't do anything now to bring them back, but we are going to, I pledge, to make sure we're going to make that area safer for everybody. A pledge City Councilwoman Natasha Williams feels has been. It's very frustrating. As a homeowner and leader who uses the intersection, she's disappointed with the project's pace, explaining the city is required to work with GDOT as Highway 138 is a state road. It slows things down even more where you're not, you know, you have to work through the state processes to get things done with traffic studies. After three years since their last visit, state inspectors went back to the site in June, confirming the needs for visibility upgrades, but improvements with no current timeline. It's very sad and depressing that, you know, we can't get things done faster, so we don't have to keep repeating this cycle over and over again. And local leaders hope the coming weeks will lead to an official timeline. We will be watching and we will keep you updated. We're live in South Fulton. I'm Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News. Two